Hello, this is Shan Chandrasekhar welcoming you to another delightful part of our programming. As part of our tribute to 100 years of Indian cinema, we featured some of the finest of motion picture stars, producers, directors, and music directors and playback singers. We are delighted now to bring back to the program Rajat Kapoor. What are you doing? You're so hard. why do you always doubt my intentions, yaar? Shalani, how I was just taking care of him. <laughs> Bye, doggy. Cancel the inspection. I'm a Islam about lotting me. Rajat, <laughs> great to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, sir. So, Again. Likewise, likewise. Rajat, what unprecedented times we have been through during the last one year, I would say. Uh, and I'm pretty sure amidst all this, my hearty congratulations to you. You've come up with a very, very interesting, another ambitious venture. Uh, so RK, RK, well, tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's a film that uh, has been in the pipeline for a long time, meaning I've been wanting to make it for a long time. The script was ready, uh, I think, seven or eight years back. And uh, it, it takes a long time for me to, uh, to make my film. Uh, well, what uh, the film is about is it's a, it's a kind of a little meta film. I'm playing a filmmaker who is called RK, and RK is making a film, and he's also acting in the film that he's making as Mehboob. And an accident happens, and Mehboob from the film ends up being in the real world. He's out of the film and in the real world. Uh, that's the basic premise of the film, and and. And that the uh, trauma is for RK to finish the film. So his hero has to go back into the film so RK can finish it. Uh, that is, is uh, essentially the plot line, if you want. Cited with the, with the theatrical release in the US uh, coming up. That is fantastic. You know, just for the benefit of viewers, uh, here's a preview. Take a look at this. I made a picture. I made it. I played my role in that. My goal is 15 by 5. Take two. And action. आज मैं माल लाना Sir, you know the film that Papa was making, na? So one of the characters in that film has gone missing. बहुत दूर है वो, पर इतना भी दूर नहीं कि वापस ना आ सके. What a failure one must be, even the characters you write don't listen to. But Papa, you wrote him. आपको ही पता होगा कि महबूब कहाँ गया. Think, Papa. मैं नहीं हूँ. तुम हो, लेकिन असल में नहीं. महबूब. Rajat, congratulations again. So, uh, tell me much. about the concept here because it's a very unique concept. You always come up with something that is very different. You use the word meta. What does that mean? Well, it's a film about a film, uh, in a way. Uh, I'm playing a director called RK. So it is, it kind of reflects, you know, and when the thing is when you have two mirrors in front of each other, you don't get one or two reflections, you get infinite mm. reflections. And then that's what happens. So uh, each thing gets amplified and, and uh, uh, reflected in many, many ways. Uh, I, uh, I'm always looking for new ideas and yet they are somehow anchored in, in, a, in, a, in a theme of identity, you know, and, and I look back at my films now 
and I realized a lot of them have been about identity. Uh, and that is at play again uh, in this film of uh, who or what Mehboob really is. Is he just what has been written for him? Uh, is he just a character that was playing lines, who's saying lines that are given out to him? Or does he have uh, free will beyond that? What were the challenges involved during this period to produce to a film? Actually, the film was shot before the pandemic, luckily. Oh, good. Uh, okay. it, it would have been impossible to shoot it in these times. Uh, but we finished a lot of uh, post-production during the pandemic. Uh, and that work we could continue, you know. Uh, luckily, the film was shot before that time. In this film, you make a reference that, you know, there is a reflection of the 60s in this movie. The cinema of the 60s and the 50s that I saw was much later as a teenager and, and in my 20s. Uh, for me, that is the golden age of Indian cinema, uh, Dr. Chandrasekhar. You know, for me, filmmakers like uh, Guru Dutt, uh, um, before anybody else, and Raj Kapoor and Vijayan, and uh, they made some great films in that time. And there was a soft, and Dimal Roy, and, and many, many others. And there was a softness, uh, a gentleness in that filmmaking when it was not attacking you, when the shots were not attacking you, when you were looking at beautiful things and, you know, the shots were beautiful, the long trolley takes were uh, really sensuous and, uh, and the songs and the music was great. Uh, so I, I have a lot of uh, affection and longing for that cinema. And some of it comes in a way of a tribute in, in RTI. Just a short break now. You as an actor and you as a writer and uh, you as a producer, there are different challenges that you have faced. Now, the last interview, I remember you're telling me that an actor's job is life is much easier than actually making a film. So elaborate on that. Further now. I still maintain that because as an actor, you don't carry the burden of the overall vision. You are part of somebody else's vision and then you're, you're, that part is not very big. It, it does not stress you out. Uh, but when you're making a film, also in terms of time involvement, as an actor, uh, you work for 30 days or, or 15 days or 10 days and your work is over on a film. But when you're making a film, it means writing it and then looking for money and then directing it and then editing it and sound and then release. It, it takes two, two and a half years of your life, which is a huge kind of investment, you know. Uh, so, yeah, definitely a filmmaker's job is a lot tougher. Is a lot more demanding, and it uh, it needs a hell of a lot of time and and perseverance, you know, uh, to make a film and to continue making films. I think the thing you need the most is perseverance. Otherwise, you would just pack your bags and go home, you know. That's interesting. Uh, who are the artists in this film? And I know the lead role uh, playing along with you is Malika Sharawat, who is one of the finest actresses. Uh, not only of the Indian film industry, now she's well recognized in the Western world as well. So tell right. me more about her and her role in the film. Well, she's playing uh, uh, an actress called Neha, who's playing opposite R.K.'s Nehru in the film as Gulabu. And Gulabu is this this beautiful, this idea of, uh, of uh, an elusive beauty, you know, uh, who, of course, does not exist in the real world. Uh, but it exists on cinema, on the screen, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's again a kind of a tribute to, to actresses from that era, like Vaida Rehman or, or Meena Kumari and, uh, and so on. And Malika has done a fabulous job. She, she's been, she's fabulous in the film. And uh, she's not the first person who came to my mind because, uh, as I was telling somebody, Malika is, uh, lives in another world which is not my world, you know. Uh, she's, for me, a commercial film star. Uh, but I, I just sent her the script and she loved it and she was very enthusiastic. And she came with a lot of passion for, for her work. She's a very, very devoted and dedicated actor. That's wonderful. You know, when it comes to traditional film financing in India, the big box office formula of movies, they've all got their own preset guys who right. are behind it and money comes from Dubai and in all kinds of big stuff happens. You've always been very unique and very independent uh, in terms of how you raise funds. You were one of the first people, I remember, for Raghu Romeo. Uh, in fact, you put your own hard-earned money, uh, which 
sometimes maybe right and partially sometimes you know men have been the most wise <laughs> i'm i'm still doing that dr chandrasekhar uh, i'm still i'm still finding odd ways to to raise money so this one money partly came through crowdfunding uh, then i found part producers in uh, a couple based in pune uh, their name is harshita and priyam uh, i didn't know them before this but they came on board and they've been wonderful uh, they supported it uh and then then i put some of my money so you know it like you said it's for independent films it is hard to uh, to raise money and I'm, and i don't mean as a this as a complain i'm not complaining or whining this is a fact and it's not just me it's, it's uh, hundreds of uh, filmmakers like me who want to stay out of uh, the mainstream cinema and still make a film that they they're passionate about and it's always going to be hard for for such filmmakers to raise money because you're sitting outside the market it's as simple as that you're not placing yourself in a, in the market and making products that suit the market right let's just go back and look at couple of those and whatever you said to me before i want you to watch that so it'll give you some pleasant memories from our last interview <laughs> right. your acting career first and then we'll go into you as a director and a writer as well right. you know it was a big take off with a big box office hit formula movie which became a big success was dil chahta hai that's right you and amir khan uh, you know in the in that film Tell us about that film. Dil Chahta was great fun. In fact, Dil Chahta and Monsoon Wedding happened the same year. Uh huh. In in. Uh, Mira Nair's. Mira Nair's Monsoon Wedding and Farhan Akhtar's uh, Dil Chahta, the same year. I was playing the bad uncle in Monsoon Wedding and I was playing a good uncle in, in Dil Chahta. <laughs> Even now, people call me Mahesh Uncle, <laughs> uh, which is the good part of being in a in a mainstream film uh -huh. that uh, you get noticed mm -hmm. right away. even if you're playing a small part in a big film mm -hmm. because it's a big film because it's an Amir Khan Preeti Zinta Saif Ali Khan mm -hmm. film mm -hmm. everybody gets noticed right right uh, so so that part was good and it was a well made film that's uh, that's wonderful i just got a pleasant surprise for you i want you to watch just a couple of scenes of yours seen it in 10 years okay let's watch it <laughs> akash mahesh uncle mahesh uncle akash mahesh hi mahesh hi let's go sitting kisi kaam se aaye ho kya ji god bless Very good. Come back. We're doing a special with Rajat Kapoor, one of the finest actors, writers, producers, and directors from the Indian film industry. Let's talk about your directorial venture, uh, Mithya. Yeah, it's pretty dark, and it's again. Uh, I think the themes of identity are. It is really about that. Uh, it's a film that I'm very fond of. I'm very fond of Mithya. I'm very fond of Aakhon Dekhi, uh, and the last. released uh, directorial venture of mine kadak uh, these are films again it takes me 3 years uh, to make one film so between two films is a long time uh, but that's okay that, that's how it is Well, the last time I forgot to congratulate you for receiving the nomination for the best actor by the Asia Pacific Screen Award for Siddharth. So tell me about that venture. Uh again a very small independent film, uh even smaller than some of the others that I've worked in. Uh had a great role. Uh Priyas Gupta also a first time director. I have done a lot of work with first time directors in fact, you know. Uh So Priyas trusted me. This was soon after corporate, actually, 2009, I think. Uh, and at first, he wasn't sure I'll be able to play this struggling writer because he had seen me in corporate as a as a corporate boss. And I was trying to tell him, brother, I am a struggling writer. Believe me. Uh, and uh, and yeah, it it was a very good role, and I think my performance was not bad. I understand uh, you've uh, frequently collaborated uh, with actors such as Vinay Patak. and uh, ranveer shori tell me about the special relationship and the interaction that you have with them uh well they are two of my best friends in uh, in the world uh i'm very very fond of both of them with ranveer i have uh, he's acted in five of my films in mixed doubles mithya patso kadak and rk rk he's he's always there he's my uh, lucky musket you know i i 
and he's such a phenomenal actor because he can really slide from uh, one film to another from one role to another he's uh, incredible and uh, vinay i have not worked with uh, so much on film but i worked with him a lot for my plays uh, he is acted in last six of my plays so i, I don't start a play if vinay is not available uh, both of them are just uh, the most two most beautiful people in the world you know if, if you ask me again i have to kindle your pleasant memory the last time i asked you a question if somebody approaches you to make a film what is the first criteria and you said that i want total independence that's what you mentioned i want you to hear what you said and i want to see whether there's any changes since then okay so take a look at this if a producer now wants to approach you and say that i want you to direct this film for me what's the criteria under which you will then decide to select that film a i work with my own scripts mm mm-hmm. So whatever I've made so far, I've written it. Right. So that's very clear with me. I right. write my own scripts, and my only criteria after that is uh, that I want complete independence. Hmm. Uh, and I put that clause in all of my agreements, contracts that the director's cut would be the final cut. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be told to take this actor. I don't want to be told anything. Hmm. <laughs> you know, you you've come to me because uh, hopefully you like my films. Right. Uh, hopefully you trust me. Now since then you've had a lot more experience has there been any change in your thinking uh not really and i hope there won't be any it's not <laughs> out of stubbornness but it's uh, out of a belief system i think uh for me it's not about control at all it's just, that's not the person i am but uh independence is important uh <clears throat> also i i don't uh, if a lot of people come to me and say we have a great script would you direct it and i say uh no because the script has to come from me and it's not that i'm saying your script is not good i'm sure it is good but it is uh, i need to be more invested i the idea has to really dig deep i have to be with it for many years and then it will come out in the form of a script and uh, and that's the script i want to make and i have many many because for example in the last year during the lockdown of four months i wrote uh, three new scripts so i have always have lots of scripts with me waiting to be made and uh, if i was to make a film every year it would still take me next 15 years to finish all the scripts that i have you know for me that that is very important that I, you have an idea uh, a vision and that you go to the very end to achieve that vision and that's why i'm saying interference is a bad word not in the sense of collaboration i love collaborating with people i love interacting feedback and all of that uh but somebody has to put his trust in me to say okay we like your script we like the kind of work you do now you go and make the film that you want to make you know i need that trust that's great you've also made a breakthrough now with netflix you know on call my agent so tell me about your involvement there or it's just as an actor uh aplos has made a indian version of a hindi version of call my agent we don't know where it will be out we i don't think it's been announced yet we don't know which platform it will come on uh, but wherever it comes i think it's a very good show i'm very excited about it and looking forward to the release so what is the plan for rk rk now in terms of a potential theatrical release with all the lockdown from around the world i know you're premiering in both los angeles and in vancouver uh, so we're starting with the american uh, premiere uh, and then let's see where it goes from there how it how it pans out I'm very excited to share this film with the world you know uh it's a film that means a lot to me not only because I have made it but I think it has some something uh that will leave a lasting impression is my belief uh now let's see how how you look at it how the audience looks at it and and finds it maybe they'll say it's uh, rubbish maybe it will mean something to them I hope it does good luck with this film thank you so much sir and I wish you all the best Dr Chandrasekhar and we look forward to Bye-bye. seeing you in person once this you know lockdown is all over let's hope and pray very soon that all gets clear very soon inshallah very soon all the best